guys. Hola, Senor Wilson. Estoy aquí. You should have watched the notes yesterday about los adjetivos, adjective positions in Spanish. This is a quick review of those notes. You should probably, if you're at home, get out a piece of paper and follow along and write these down. It won't take long. It should be un repaso, a review. All right, so we're going to start right here where it says the tall woman. And I told you yesterday, the very first word you want to start with is the noun. It's the most important word. A noun is a persona, cosa, or lugar, a person, place, or thing. So in this little phrase, the tall woman, woman is the noun. So I'm going to come right over here and I'm just going to start with woman, which is a mujer. Okay, that's kind of the basis, what I have to start building off of. Now we should know we have three words, or excuse me, four words for the. You've got el, la, los, and las. Because mujer is singular and femenina, I will use la. Now the last word, and this is crazy, because tall goes before woman in English, but I told you in Spanish it goes after. Descriptive adjectives come after the nouns, and we mess that up. The word for tall is alto, but. Because mujer is feminine, and because alto ends in an O, I can change that O to an A, and I get la mujer alta. Now I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to take this whole thing right here, and I'm going to dump it over here, and I'm going to make it plural, plural. So I've got to follow all the rules that we've talked about so far this year. I'm going to start with mujer. To make mujer plural, there are three rules. You can either add an S if it ends in a vowel. You can add an ES if it ends in a consonant. Or you can change a Z to C and then add ES. So we should be looking here and we should say, okay, that ends in a consonant. I will follow regla dos, rule two, add an ES. Now I'm going to take la and I've got to make it plural to agree with mujeres. I'm going to follow rule one. It ends in a vowel, so I'm going to add an S, mujeres. Now I'm going to take this alta right here, which still describes the women. Remember, it comes after the noun in Spanish. And I'm going to make this al Taz. Because it's describing the women, it also has to be plural, plural. All right, we're going to do the same thing here. We've got a short man. Start with your noun, the person, place, or thing, the persona, cosa, or lugar. The noun here happens to be hombre. That's the man. For A, we have four choices, un, una, unos, or unas. Because hombre is singular and masculino, I will pick un. Okay, so now I've got a man. And this is weird, but short, the word for short, comes after man. So short is bajo. Man is singular. It's masculine. Bajo is singular and masculine. I leave that alone. Now what I'm going to do is I want to say some short men. So I take hombre, which is my base noun where I'm going to start. And I'm going to dump it over here, and I'm going to get hombres. I add an S to make it plural. That was rule one of plurality. Now I've got four words. It's either going to be un, una, unos, or unas. Because hombres is plural, I'm going to make this one unos. Let me back it up. Okay, now I've got some and men. I need the word for short. It comes after. I know over here that short is bajo. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it right here. But there's a problem. It's now describing men. So I have to make it plural. I have to make it plural. It ends in a vowel. So I'll follow rule one of plurality. Regla uno and I will add an S. All right, very last review. I hope you're staying with me here. Hopefully you remember the word for backpack. That's our noun here. Is a mochila. Okay. If it's a backpack, you have four choices, un, una, unos, or unas. You can see that mochila is singular and femenina. Hopefully you will pick una mochila. The word for blue is azul. Remember, blue comes after the backpack in Spanish. The adjective comes after. That's backwards to English. So we've got one backpack and azul is singular. Over here, I'm going to take mochila, if I can spell it right, mochila, and I'm going to make it plural, so I'm going to add an S. I've got to take una and make it plural. So aquí, I'm also going to add an S. It ends in a vowel, add an S, not an A, an S. 
And then I've got to take this word for blue. Remember, it comes after the backpacks. I get azul. Now here's the problem that we forget about. Azul is describing the backpacks. And in English, we would never ever say some blues backpacks. We don't say that. But in Spanish, it has to agree. It ends in a consonant. So to make that plural, you only got three choices. You can add an S, you can add an ES, or you can change a Z to a C and add an ES. It ends in a consonant. So I'm going to add an ES and I get unas mochilas azules. So hopefully you watch this before you try to do the activity today. Adios. Hasta la vista.